Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about anagram efficient code. First, we will understand what is the question anagram means. So, coming to today's example, anagram given two strings A and B. They are going to give you two strings A and B. Check the two strings are anagram of each other or not. Anagram means <coughs> both strings contain same characters. So both of the strings should contain the same characters. Order may change. Yes, order may be in any of the order, but they contain the same number of strings, same number of characters, same characters. So that is then we can say it as anagram. With uh, with example, we are going to understand it better. Listen, silent. So listen, L L I I S S T T E E N N. Both contain the same characters. But the order may change. These two we call it as anagram. Similarly, all, L A L L. We call it as anagram. Here two L's are there, here two L's are there, one A is there, one A is there. Same number of characters, same characters, and same frequency also. We should maintain. So coming to that input listen silent, output should be yes. If they are not anagrams, display it as no. So the time complexity, the important thing here is uh, you have to maintain the time complexity of order of big O of uh, A plus B means number of characters in A plus number of characters in B. This is the order you have to maintain and the space complexity should be order of 1. Uh, here writing the logic is very very easy but in order to maintain maintain this time complexity here you have you need to identify a new technique in order to maintain this. Uh, order of a plus b so that's why we have chosen this example so first we'll we'll discuss the regular uh, logic logic listen silent so the uh, the uh, uh, normal logic is uh, take l check in this string how many times l is present the same thing do it here how many times l is present if both are same take the next character i check here i is present or not uh, Take yes, yes is present or not. Take t, t is present or not. This is very simple logic, but it is going to take order of n square times. So, but um, they asked you to maintain the logic, uh, then to maintain the time complexity of order of a plus b. A means number of characters in this string, and b means number of characters in this string. So how to maintain that? In order to make you understand one important logic, how we can use this logic in our programming to achieve this time complexity. So that's why we have chosen this example. You have to understand this technique. You can use this technique in many of the other examples also. So coming to what's the technique means here characters means ASCII characters. So how many total ASCII characters are there? 256. So we, we are going to take two arrays. Array 1 and array 2 is of size 256. 256. So the logic here is take, take the first string L. Convert it into ASCII value. What is the ASCII value of L? Assume it is 95. At 95th position increment the count. Initially take all the values as zeros increment the count means one l found in a first string take next character i in i means what's the what's the ascii value of i assume it is 96 so at 96 increment the count at 98 increment the count whatever the characters you found here at that positions increment the count the same thing you do it for silent also increment at the positions where the characters present. If both the arrays contains the same values, we can say these two are anagrams. So this is the logic we are going to use. We can convert, we can take an array of 255 means ASCII characters. In order to store the indexes of ASCII, we are taking 256. This is the point you have to understand. This is the point you have to remember when you are solving the string problems. So, if there is a chance to use that ASCII values, try to use it. In order to make you understand this point, we have chosen this example. So, that's why the, uh, how many times uh, you are you're taking this? You are taking all the characters from the first string and taking all the characters from the second string. So, what's the time complexity? A plus B. 
in order to maintain the a plus b we have to take this uh, string uh, this uh, ascii characters uh, array so coming to the coding part we are showing the coding part uh, but it is very very easy to write the code our suggestion is try after listening to the logic uh, try to solve it on your own then check for the solution anyway coding is available in our website learningmonkey.in you can copy it and you can paste it and you can use that code Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.